Hey, welcome back to Suzy's Scrap and Spot. In my video tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to download free fonts onto your computer to use with your Sure Cuts Allowed program. Okay, right now I am on a website called 1001 Free Fonts. If you look on my blog in the top right column, you will see a link that says uh, Free True Type Font Sites, and there are several different sites there, and the link to this site is there. Um, I have downloaded several fonts from this site and never had an issue. You can search this site alphabetically right here, A to Z, by categories. You can write it up here where it says 10,000 fonts. You can buy a CD with all the fonts on it. That's just too many for me to weed through, so I like to go through individually. So we're just going to pick a category here. Let's go to Russian and see what's in Russian. Okay, that really is Russian. Let's not go to Russian. <laughs> Curly. Okay. Oh, that's a cute font. <clears throat> Not sure how great that would cut with my Cricut. I tend to look for something a little more bold, like this would be cute. Let's go with a Delta Hay Max 9. Okay, if you've got a Windows, you're going to press the Windows button. If you have a Mac, you're going to press the Mac button. For custom preview, it's just going to be the preview of the one font all by itself. Just like that. Nothing real special. So I'm going to click the Windows Download button. Okay, the next box that comes up will say Open or Save. Now, if you click Open, hopefully it's open here. There it is, sorry. Okay, if you click Open, that's going to save this font into your Windows TrueType font folder. You know how you, when you go into your word processor, into Microsoft Word, or any of those programs, and all those fonts are in there? These is, this is where your fonts are stored in the true type font folder. If you get too many fonts in your folder, your computer will start to glitch and freak out. I've had it happen to me before. I went and downloaded hundreds and hundreds of fonts and that was not good. I had to delete a whole bunch out. So I don't want to click open because I don't want to save. If you want to save a few in there, that's okay. I'm going to hit save. And what happens is it's going to ask me, where do you want to save this? and I have mine under libraries now I'm running Windows 7 yours might look a little bit different libraries documents my documents and then I'm gonna go down here to free fonts now if you'll notice it says say this type is a compressed zipped folder what that means is they have compressed the font file into a tiny little ball so that when you download it it's super quick and you're going to have to unzip it so until we unzip it, I'm going to stick it in my free fonts folder right here, Delta Hay Max 9. So I just highlight my folder and click Save. And there it is in my folder. So now if I go over here and click my Start button and go to Documents and open My Documents and go down here to my free fonts, there is my Delta Hay Max 9. Now you'll notice it has a little zipper on the folder. That means it's still zipped. All I have to do is double click. Now it's unzipped. Now since it's unzipped, I'm going to hold my mouse on it and drag it over here into Cricut Fonts so that I know everything in my Cricut Fonts folder is unzipped and ready to go. So I would just sit here in Free Fonts, double click, unzip, take the ones I want. In this case, I'll just grab them all. And I did that by clicking on the top one, holding my shift key down, and then clicking on the bottom, and that'll highlight everything. And I'm just going to drag it over into my Cricut fonts, which, yeah, they're probably already there, so I'm just going to skip. And then when I go back into my free fonts folder, I can delete that, right click, and delete that one, because I've already got it in my Cricut fonts folder and that's all there is to it if you have any questions please email me I know this is um, a little bit difficult for some of you once you get the hang of it though it's really quick and easy come back and I will show you my tutorial for how to set up your folders to put your free fonts in thanks for stopping by